easy to find on the final pupae state. They put a very fibrous, fibrous uh, covering over the brood. Over the brood. So that they can finalize their metamorphic uh, ritual. So, I mean, and with that said, this is lovely. This, this is truly, truly lovely. Uh, we will, um, yeah, we have some pollen in here in various pockets. We have some honey over here in my upper left side. And then that center area there that are capped, almost a fibrous cardboard type, um, type uh, fiber here. Um, yes, that in a couple of days, and look at that. Uh, we, we could be really close to the queen here too and with that we uh, yeah we definitely have a brood verification and it truly is wonderful we have uh, we have some honey uncapped here um, as they're going about so I'm not seeing any this is all oh yeah I do in the upper left corner it'll be hard for you to see it, but I see some uh, some uncapped larvae they're taking up almost the entire um, uh, bottom bottom part of their chamber so uh, so they're actually about seven or eight days um, and here we go and here's another problem of the uh, the confines of them going to the uh, the sides there where they can get crushed as I'm trying to put these things back in and there was a warning sign and they are being more aggressive I think right here is could be um, some 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 uh, profitable activity of the queen they are so protective of their queen and so and with that said we just it is truly you know truly truly fascinating and I just got to show you once again the beauty and marvel and my passion you you know the passion that I have for this and it's just so marvelous we have uh, uh, we have some uh, communication going on there. A little woggling must be for a uh, um, a, uh, a pollen resource, and uh, and just the beauty of it all. I wish I wish I could just capture it for you, you know, as best I can. The best I can do is just just kind of change the angles of um, my display here with the uh, with the relativity of the, uh, the the angle of the sun to hope that uh, um, you can at some point catch the colors in the depth of uh, what I see. And so uh, it is so lovely. I'm seeing, yes, a mix, a mix bagged here in the center bits of, um, of uh, larvae and capped up uh, pupae. So it truly is, and, and down below here, they're, they're massing and swarming and, and just, I am not, I had said that I am going to open up the uh, lower, the lower case there. And uh, I am not. I am not going to do that. And I know, guys, guys, I know, I know. Or girls, ladies, ladies. Whoops. Ladies. I know that uh, we are, I have to say, we are having, for what it is, you know, we are, we are having pleasant experiences. I can't complain. You know about this day and it truly is a wonderful day and it's so wonderful we have uh, bees over here it's their hives and they, it, it, you know it's their frame their hives and, and they are and they are utilizing it they sense it they sense themselves and they're just like going about their business whether they're foraging from that or or filling and uh, I know I know guys camp ladies my friends and how are we doing? Cat, brood, honey. They love to have a mixture of honey and pollen close at hand, you know, so that the house, the house bees maintaining the hive, feeding the brood, feeding the queen, feeding the drones in, in beautiful matriarchal harmony. And I have to say, I mean, obviously, and so I'm pretty, uh, 
you know, pretty open about me being pagan and all. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and I just love the whole female perspective in, uh, in, 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 in Wiccan and, and in pagan uh, spirituality is that the females have an equal, equal role in deity and in celebration on everything, in every level, in every level. And that's being a being a feminist. Um, I yes, and loaded, 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 uncapped, uncapped. This was yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And uh, so I think um, one of the things that I that I uh, do plan on doing today as well is uh, though I will not separate them. I do plan on. really gonna be angry about this but but to make it quicker I'm actually going to um, replace the lower tray because I want to clean it you know from the winter so there's a lot of debris uh, on the lower tray that can uh, invite uh, host species to uh, to feed on and so, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, bees die through the winter. You know, the, uh, the worker bee does uh, live longer in the winter time when uh, brood production has stopped, you know, to carry them on through the winter. The uh, winter bees are more robust. I know, I know kids, it's, And once again, I'm sure a caring person on the clock. And see, once again, we have just just a lot of. Uh, I would actually take a time and go through this after my suit is off, and I don't have to stare through the mesh to look for possible any kind of uh, you know uh, species that could be uh, a problem in uh, the health. Of the hive, so we'll go back to this in a moment. But uh, with my macro lens on my camera, I will try to take some of the really cool photographs of the raw wax strips secreted from the heads of the uh, the, the honeybees, um, and and how beautiful in shape and form that they are. They look like little clear little little drips, little drops, little little teardrops from their sweet love. And so, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, okay. I know, I know, hey, hey, come on. want me to line this up right. We don't want any leaks. There was a last year, there was a very, very large spider that took up residence right underneath the hive box. And every day I came over here, it would like weave its web right in a part of, part of the entrance way. And it was doing very well at collecting some of the bees. And I was like, geez, what a, what a frightening thing to have in front of your doorstep like that. And, uh, and I, I kept shooing it away, and it would—it was—it was big, really, really, really big, big spider, and uh, had a hell of an appetite. I can imagine did well. I mean, uh, an average hive could have, you know, 70, 80, could have over 100,000 bees in uh, in peak production of uh, of nectar flow. And speaking of nectar flow, as you can see here, I'm. You know, I'm struggling with this little board I put here to give it a little bit more of an angle for when it rains, the rain doesn't build up inside the hive itself and that it has more of a drip. And uh, because of all that, you know, I'm forced to take a little bit more time, but, but, be, with, but, but as things are going, um, we really are. We really are, um, I think, having 
a truly wonderful experience here. And I'm probably definitely going well over my allowed time. It's, whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, they jolted, hey, I know, hey, there was, hey, hey, hey. And uh, see, we took away from our harmony there by just a jolt, one jolt of the sticky foundation frame. You know, really caused uh, a commotion, you know, and a panic and an attack. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. And I just want to, you know, start getting every, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, everybody, you know, coming through, coming through, coming through. And, uh, yeah, pardon me, pardon me. Yeah, any, uh, professional beekeepers out there watching this that actually do this uh, in, you know, as a living could really pretty much be laughing and snickering at a and they'd be saying oh yeah you would be so fired I know that I know that and it's like it's okay and it's okay reminds me uh, I remember when I was a, a youngster I was working on a golf course and I was really fast. The guy, I, I, I mowed the greens. This is early in the morning. I mowed the greens. I changed the cup hole placement on the greens. I raked all of their sand traps. And he was just so, he was so upset that I was done too fast. And he had to, and he just had to keep me busy. I had to keep busy. You know, it was like, Though I was doing my work fast, and though I was getting it done for his allowed schedule of the work for me to do today, he then told me to go paint the side of a building. I painted the side of the building, and he was, I could just see it in his face, how upset he was with me by not, whatever, milking the job out or whatever. Whoops, I just damaged that comb. I just slid right in there and kind of, but they'll fix that all up. And, uh, and I came back to him again. And I said, oh, this isn't lining up here. And I came back to him again. And I said, uh, you know, I'm done. And he just couldn't believe that I had painted the building already. And so he told me to go out to the parking lot and pick up all the trash. I went out to the parking lot and picked up all the trash. I didn't pick up the cigarette butts and the uh, cigar butts that have been all in people's mouths and I just refused, I, I wasn't going to do that, I'll pick up everything else but that and the guy said to me, he goes, you know an older man, you know, graying, probably my age uh, maybe he's not quite that old and he said to me, go back out there and pick up all the cigarette butts and all the uh, cigar butts, I guess, golfers, they I guess they like to chew on cigars quite a bit and uh, and I told him no, and that uh, that I wasn't a smoker, and that he should get a smoker, you know, to go out there and pick up all the disgusting cigarette butts and cigar butts, and he fired me. So I've been fired before. Well, I worked for an apiary one day, perhaps. I think it would be a wonderful experience. Will I, will I change a lot of my um, my methods? Geez, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I do know one thing. This and it happens all the time this way. And that 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 final that final piece to the puzzle is always the hardest. And I mean, I'm sure you've experienced that many times before you buy a, a packaged good. It's all folded and laid and done on this and that to put it all together. And for some reason or another, you gotta put it back the way they did. And nothing ever, nothing ever goes back. It's just one of those, one of those unexplained mysteries. And, uh, and, <clears throat> 